Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing one of my favorite videos every single month, and that is the new Cozy Mystery releases for the following month. So we're just gonna hop in. We have some new series, we have Christmas cozies, we have so many good ones, let's hop in. So the first one is from a series that I'm personally really enjoying, and that is the Cheese Shop Mystery Series. This one is called Case of the Blues. This is book four within the series, written by Karina Moss, and it will be coming out on September 26th. So I've read book one in this, really, really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to continuing the series. Our main character in this is Willa. She is a cheesemonger. She opens this like French inspired cheese shop in Sonoma Valley. A bunch of cheesemongers from across the Northwest have come to Sonoma Valley for the Northwest Cheese Invitational. And Willa is super excited for this, of course, as a cheesemonger. The event's gonna have all these custom cheese creations and it's just a great time for her to gather with old colleagues, honor her former boss, who is the late and great cheese legend Max Dumas and this man was really famous for journeying into the wild blue yonder to where he aged his award-winning custom cheese and only Max knew the recipe for this and the location to his beloved cheese and a lot of people are really eager to see if like he left them the recipe in his will reading. Unfortunately, instead of naming someone specifically in his will to receive the cheese recipe, Max stuns everyone and just leaves a cryptic clue. And a fellow cheesemonger actually ends up dying under mysterious circumstances and this is the woman they all thought would get the secrets to the recipe. So everyone else in this cheesemonger group is under suspicion now and Willa is really excited she wants to solve the clue of course I'm imagining but she's not willing to die for it and she's gonna start using her sleuthing hat to look around and find out what is going on with this killer very excited for this I think the name for this is adorable and yeah I'm excited for this. The next one is part of the very beloved Thursday Murder Club Mystery Series. This is written by Richard Osman and it's book four in the series. It will be coming out on the 19th and it's called The Last Devil to Die. This one is a really fun premise. Basically you have four people and they're kind of in, they're like up in age and they are like a group. They're the Thursday murder club. They get together, they read, and they just are all from different walks of life and everything. And in this particular one, they get bad news that an old friend of theirs has died, and it ends up leading them down this rabbit hole to try to solve their friend's murder. And it also leads them with like antique dealers and like some kind of heist and a bunch of other fun details. It sounds really interesting. And yeah, that's kind of the basic premise for this one. Next, we have a Christmas cozy, and it's called Have Yourself a Deadly Little Christmas. This is written by Vicki Delaney. It is book six within the year-round Christmas Christmas mystery series and this will be coming out on September 19th. So it is the beginning of December in Rudolph, New York, which is America's Christmas town and business is booming at Mrs. Claus's Treasures, which is a gift and decor shop owned by Mary, our amateur sleuth. And the local amateur drama society is also preparing for a special musical production of A Christmas Carol. Unfortunately, it's not a happy set. There's a lot of rivalries between the cast and the crew and their threatening production. It's not not great and tensions come to a deadly head when a member of the group is found dead right after a shopping excursion to Mrs. Claus's treasure. So Mary starts to question was somebody trying to cut the competition at the theater and everyone in the cast and crew is a possible suspect including Mary's mother and Mary's shop assistant Jackie O'Reilly who is desperate for a starring role in this play. So Mary's got to solve this before Christmas so that she can clear her mother and shop assistant's name and just make everything cheerful again for Christmas. I love the cover for this so much. How darling is this dog? I need to read this series. This has been on my TBR for a while and what could be better than a year-round Christmas mystery series? I... I need to get on this. Next we have a historical fiction cozy mystery series and this one is called Murder Most Royal, a novel. Her Majesty the Queen investigates its book three in the series written by S.J. Bennett and it will be coming out on the 26th. So this one's really fun. I haven't read this but it sounds fascinating. Let me know if you have. Our main character in this is actually Queen Elizabeth II and she's really looking forward to Christmas. There's like some kind of party and at the party a severed hand is found horrifying absolutely horrifying but on the hand there's actually a ring and it has like a royal signet on it and Queen Elizabeth II actually recognizes it and she knows that this is connected to like a missing aristocrat so she is 
tempted to start investigating, which is like, you know what, it's Christmas, the police can handle this, but the tensions begin to continue rising, more and more danger happens, and she decides to start sleuthing around herself because it's just becoming more and more unsafe and she really wants to find out what happened. Really fun premise. I, How gruesome is the severed hand? I mean, that, oof. Not good, but really fun idea. I think this one, again, sounds really cozy and just another Christmas cozy mystery to enjoy. Next, we have one by Lynn Cahoon, and this is Death in the Romance Isle, a survivor's book club mystery. It is book three in the series, written by Lynn Cahoon, as I said, and this will be coming out on September 5th. So our main character in this has a really interesting backstory. This whole series does have an interesting backstory. Our main character in this is Rarity, and she's actually a breast cancer survivor, and she meets with a group of other survivors as well, which I think is a really good premise. I really like that my, personally. And she also runs a bookshop and she's excited in this book because her best friend is actually going to be meeting up with his brother and they're just really excited. I don't know if they've been estranged for all these years. I don't know if they just discover each other but one way or another they're going to meet up. The brother is coming out from California to Arizona, Sedona where the bookshop and everyone is located. But shortly after the brother arrives, tragedy strikes when a woman is found dead nearby and this woman recently went on a date with the brother who just arrived. So now Rarity's trying to clear her best friend's brother's name. Really fun premise. I have to say though, I really, I'm kind of underwhelmed by the covers in the series. I know they're kind of like that minimalistic fun style that a lot of people like, but I just, I don't know. I like, I'm not a minimalist, I guess, but let me know what you think of the covers. If you are a cat lover, you're gonna love the cover on this next one. It is called Death by Peppermint Cappuccino, a bookstore cafe mystery. It is book 12 in the series, written by Alex Erickson, and it will be coming out on the 26th. This one takes place in Pine Hills, Ohio, and our main character is Chrissy Hancock. She's a bookstore cafe owner, and she's getting excited for the holiday season. So again, another Christmassy one. Christmas is coming to Pine Hills. Chrissy's in a blooming relationship with an officer and she's just in a very festive mood. And they're also offering a peppermint cappuccino as their seasonal signature drink at her cafe. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people who are kind of in the Grinchy spirit this year. There's complaints about businesses profiting off the season, losing focus on what Christmas is really about, and right on target, a shop owner who'd been price gouging his customers is found dead after receiving a mysterious present. Chrissy doesn't want to let these events put a damper on the holiday, especially with her father and his girlfriend in town, and other shop owners are continuing to be targeted. So Chrissy has no choice but to wrap up this case quickly, protect her friends and other shop owners, and put an end to this grinchiness because it is the holidays. I'm a big holiday person. So this one looks just absolutely amazing. I really want to read this series. I haven't gotten into it yet, but let me know if you've read it. This cover is so cute with the cat. Love it. Next we have A Very Lively Murder. This is the Three Delilahs Mystery Series, book two in the series, written by Katie Watson, and it will be coming out on September 12th. This one has a really fun premise. We actually have an actress, so our main character is an ex-child like child star, but she's getting back into acting. She just got the leading role in this like detective film, and she's super excited until tragedy strikes on set when it turns out that one of the weapons they were using as like a prop wasn't so much a prop. So somebody's actually injured on set and this is just devastating. So her and the other two Delilahs, that's like their nickname, they're kind of like a group, start to investigate, try to fit, you know, balance all of this while they're doing their acting career and signing autographs and just keeping it together, getting this film done and trying to figure everything out before another murder happens. Love the cover. I think the, co the colors on this are very calming and soothing, which is kind of in juxtaposition with the actual plot, but I love the cover for this. This one is such a fun premise and I need to read the series so badly. This one is A Felidia Bright Mystery, book three in the series, written by Colleen Cambridge. This one is Murder by Invitation Only and it will be coming out on September 26th. So in this one, our main character is Felidia and she is actually the housekeeper of Agatha Christie. So this is a historical cozy. What an incredible, Yes, everything about this. This is recommended for fans of Downton Abbey and Agatha Christie. 
obviously basically the premise for this is there's like this murder party and it's kind of like the theme in Agatha Christie's A Murder is Announced which happens to be one of my favorite Agatha Christie books ever and basically a murder is announced it's a murder party they have people playing different roles including the victim however at the party Felidia I think is sent in Agatha Christie's place so it's just her on the scene representing the Christie household and the person playing the victim actually ends up becoming the victim. So now Felidia is up to her head in trying to solve this mystery. She's looking into clues. She's trying to piece it together. Think like Agatha Christie would. Trying to figure out different people's motives. I love A Murder is Announced so much and this is like a just such a nice like ode to it so I I really need to read this one. We have another Christmas one next. This is called Mrs. Claus and the Trouble with Turkeys. It's coming out on the 26th. This is a Mrs. Claus mystery book four in the series written by Liz Ireland. Our main character in this her name is April but she's actually married to Nick as in the Santa Claus. So she, April is Mrs. Claus in this and she's decided to actually celebrate Thanksgiving. Like, you know, the North Pole, they don't celebrate Thanksgiving. They're kind of busy at that time of year, but she's like, you know what, this year we're doing it. But trouble kind of erupts when right before the Thanksgiving dinner, the turkey is turkey napped. And <laughs> sorry, that was really hard to say with a straight face. I don't, <laughs> I've never said turkey napped before, but that, Anyways, the turkey is found, Thanksgiving dinner ensues, and then things go even worse when Santa Claus's Nick's cousin ends up dead during the feast. And unfortunately, they, you know, get like detectives or police at the North Pole involved, and April believes that the police have the wrong person in, in their custody. So she starts to investigate and try to solve what's happening, but she's also getting these threats and it's just really suspenseful and it's just such a bright, cheery cover, but it sounds pretty hardcore considering. And what a fun premise. I mean, I need, I need, you, I need you like a Christmas cozy mystery video because there's just too many good Christmas cozies coming out. Next we have a brand new series. It's called Seems Deadly. This is a Measure Twice sewing mystery. It is written by Maggie Bailey and it will be coming out on September 5th. Our main character in this is Lydia and she is a sewist and she is recently starting afresh. She really wants a new start and she moves out and she moves to a quaint mountain town in Georgia. Her friend Fran offers her a job at the Measure Twice fabric store and even sets her up on a date with this handsome man who happens to be Lydia's new neighbor. Perfect, right? Things are starting to look up, but disaster strikes when the first date actually ends up with a fist bump instead of a kiss, and Lydia's feeling kind of bummed about that. She's like, well, that didn't go as planned, but she's proven wrong when she later stumbles upon her date's dead body. Unfortunately, the police have Lydia as a prime suspect because she found the body, she was on a date with him, and her and her friends are now trying to prove her innocence. Shortly after, another body is found inside the Measure Twice store that Lydia is working in and the kill Lydia knows that the killer has to be close by to have access to all of this stuff and she's really delving into this town's deep dark secrets and why they would be targeting her or like the sewing store. It just sounds really great. I love the cute cover. I think the cat is darling. I love reading about sewing. I have absolutely no interest in it myself, like knitting or sewing, but I find the topic really cozy and it's just one I really enjoy. So I really want to get one. I really want to get my hands on this one. I love this next series. This one is the Lady Hardcastle Mystery Series. It is historical fiction, cozy mystery series. This one is called A Fire at the Exhibition. It's book 10 in the series written by T.E. Kinsey and it will be coming out on the 5th. Our main characters in the Lady Hardcastle series have the best banter. I love them. We have Lady Hardcastle herself who is a retired woman. In the first book she's moved out into the country for a quiet life. Didn't quite happen but you know she tried. And then she has her maid Flo who's been like a lifelong friend. The two of them are more best friends than like master and like servant. I don't know what you call that. Like employer, employee, however you want to put it. And this one takes place in 1912. Basically they are going to this art ex exhibition and while they are there someone shouts fire and people panic of course. They're trying to get out and during this panic a very valuable book is stolen. So now Lady Hardcastle and her maid Flo are on the case. I highly recommend the series. The banter is hilarious. I absolutely love Lady Hardcastle and Flo. They are the best dynamic duo Ever. Next we have one coming out on September 26th. It is called A Christmas Scarf Murder by Carlene O'Connor, Maddie Day, and Peggy 
Earhart. So this one is actually an anthology of cozy mysteries. It includes three cozy mysteries, one from each of the authors, and all of them have some kind of tie-in with a deadly Christmas scarf, whether it's wrapped around the victim, strangled the victim, you get the idea. So there's some really fun different premises here. We have like a tree lighting ceremony for one of them. One of them has like stocking stuffers. So just kind of a fun seasonal cozy mystery grouping. And I wanted to throw it in there in case you're a fan of like short stories. Another new cozy mystery series that we have is Murder in an Italian Village, a Bria Bartolucci mystery. This is by Michael Falco and this will be coming out on the 23rd. So our main character in this is Bria and she is a recently widowed B&B owner and her husband's big dream in life and one that she probably shared with him is to open a bread and breakfast in Positano, Italy by the sea. So she takes her young son out there and they decide to open it up on like the anniversary of his death and things are going well. She's you know emotional about this of course but she's looking forward to a more hopeful future for her and her son. Tragedy strikes, however, when she finds somebody in one of the guests' like rooms and they're lifeless and covered in blood and she's just shocked, you know, what's happening here. She calls the police, of course, and they are just absolutely like shocked by what's going on, don't know what's going on, and unfortunately one of her employees is actually accused of the murder. So alongside her son and some of her fun friends and like sister, she's got to solve this mystery. And it just sounds like a really interesting premise. I love anything to do with Italy and what a gorgeous cover. So this one sounds like a really interesting one that I wanted to include. This next one is the Island Mystery Series and it sounds like a blast. It's called All Is Now Lost, A Cozy Mystery Rooted in the South Carolina Low Country, written by Laura Elizabeth and it will be coming out on September 12th. And this is the first book in the Island Mystery series. So basically we have our main character, Car Jepsen. She arrives on this island. She's ready to start the next chapter of her life. And the island is really only accessible by boat. There's very few cars, no busy roads. It's a very quiet place to be. And Car is deciding to chase her dreams and open up a cozy books and brew bookstore. So she really wants to create this gathering place, this social place for the town. And She's deciding that it could really use some island life with its decor, so she decides to photograph the island scenery, a sunrise photo, and one of her friends, Barb, actually takes her to Governor's Point, which is an abandoned property that was supposed to be an exclusive waterfront neighborhood. This now neglected property, it's overgrown, but it's Barb's secret hideaway for enjoying some of the most spectacular water views. Unfortunately, the two women find something in the water that sets off a mystery that crisscrosses the island and surfaces the many reasons, some of them rooted in the island's history, that families have come to love this spot in the Atlantic for many generations. So it sounds like it's supposed to be like a good beach read, it's supposed to be like very page turning, and it just sounds like a fun premise. I really like the location. I think that makes it very unique. And the cover is very interesting too for the genre. It's not what I would say a typical cozy mystery cover looks like, but I like it nonetheless. I think it's really pretty with the green. Our next one is another historical fiction cozy mystery series. It's called Hollywood Angels, a Mary Alcott mystery, book eight within the series, written by Alice Duncan. And this will be coming out on September 19th, 2023. So this one takes place in Los Angeles, California in 1927. It takes place in January and our main character Mercy is wrapped up in this mystery when her friend Lulu has this really unwelcomed advance from like a producer. I guess she's maybe like an actress or something like that and the producer kind of comes on to her. She's not happy about it and later the producer is found murdered. So the police are now suspecting Mercy's friend and she gets involved in the mystery to try to clear her friend's name basically. I cannot understate how much I love the covers for this mystery series. Like, it's so beautiful. Love it. Gorgeous cover. Sounds like a really fun time. And yeah. Next we have Murder at the Merton Library. This is a Rexford and Sloan mystery. It is book seven in the series written by Andrea Penrose and it will be coming out on the 26th. So we kind of have two main characters in this. We have Rexford who is sounds like maybe some kind of detective or something like that and he's called back to the Oxford Library because somebody is found dead there and there's also a missing rare manuscript. And our other main character Charlotte who writes under a pen name she is trying to investigate and solve whether a fire in a laboratory was arson or if it was you know an accident Accident. and also if this is having something to do with the like race to invent something for ships and at the same time one of their friends also is investing in these ships so there's a lot of pressure going on are these crimes connected in any way the two
two of them are trying to solve that and put it together. I've never heard of this mystery series, let me know if you have, but I thought the premise for this sounded really cool. Coming out on September 26th, we have a supernatural cozy called Now You See It. This is a witch city mystery. It is book 13 in the series, written by Carol J. Perry. So our main character in this is Lee and her husband, who is a detective. They recently got married. They are settling into married life, and Lee is like this big program director for an area in Salem, and she's like, in charge of a lot of different things including some of the antiques and like historical restorations it sounds like and tragedy strikes when this man who is delivering a truckload of antiques is found dead and i'm presuming maybe the antiques are stolen or messed with in some way so now her and her husband are kind of in on this case and alongside like her best friend and her cat and an actual real life witch she's going to solve this mystery so this is truly a supernatural cozy mystery lovely cover absolutely screams autumn to me and i can't wait this next one is one of my most anticipated releases for the entire year it is called murder in maman a tita rossi's kitchen mystery it is book four in the series coming out on september 19th and it's written by mia p and Sala. So this mystery series is one of my favorites. I think the writing, the plot, the characters are all just take it to the next level. It's just such a great series. Our main character in this is Leela and her godmothers April, May, and June aka the calendar crew. They're celebrating the opening of their joint business venture which is a new laundromat and unfortunately there's a lot of fanfare but there's also some controversy. So what should have been a joyous occasion for the opening turns into a tragedy when they discover the building has been vandalized and the body of April's niece who just arrived from the Philippines is discovered dead and there's a chilling message painted on the floor. So the question is now, was this message aimed at the victim, her niece, or was it aimed at the gossipy godmothers who don't have the most squeaky clean reputations? So April is of course falling apart from grief and the police department in this area are just not, you know, they're not getting enough clues. They're not solving this fast enough. So it's up to Layla and her network to find justice for this young woman. Unfortunately, the more she digs, the more she finds out that the calendar crew, aka her godmothers, have stuck their noses into everybody's business for years. So unfortunately, there's a lot of vendettas that she has to sort through to find out who had the biggest motive and the means and all of that. Highly recommend this cozy mystery series. I love it. I cannot wait to read this book. Next we have another Christmas mystery. This is book two within the Christmas mystery series. It's called Murder at the Theater Royale. This is by Ada Moncrief and this will be coming out on the 5th. So this is a 1930s mystery. It does take place during Christmas. There is a big production of the Christmas Carol at this theater and everything's going okay. They are having their, you know, big debut and Scrooge, the actor playing Scrooge, ends up actually dying on stage. I can't even imagine being in that audience. I would be horrified. Just, oh my goodness, I can't even. Um, but it turns out he might have been murdered and then things get worse when they go backstage and discover another body. And this time it's connected to the director for everything named Chester. The person in the back room is actually found in the director's dressing room and they're an old rival as well of this person. So our main character journalist Daphne King is on this case trying to discover the truth and trying to solve is this something that was connected to the director? Was Scrooge's death connected to the director or was it just bad luck? What exactly is happening? And another Christmas cozy. I think this cover is really cute. I actually, I don't know, I didn't, it didn't strike me at first, but the more I look at it, the more I like it. Let me know if you've read this series. I haven't and I just, I need to, I think. It, it sounds really good. Last but not least, we have one from the popular Agatha Raisin mystery series. This is book 34 in the series, written by MC Beaton, and it's called Dead on Target. This will be coming out on the 19th. Our main character in this is Agatha Raisin, and she's cranky, she's crafty, she's the sh star of her own TV show, and one day she's kind of wandering through the woods, and she finds a landowner in the area who has been murdered and, like, struck down by an arrow. At first, though, the detective is insisting, no, no, this was like an accident, you know, people, there's like archery ranges nearby, it's an accident, but Agatha insists that it wasn't an accident, and she's actually shocked when the detective on the case agrees with her. So alongside him, they start to solve this mystery. Cannot believe 34 books in a series. I can't even imagine starting this series because I'm so intimidated by that many books. So many books. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was a very long video. We did 20 different cozy mysteries. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I do these videos every single month on the channel and I talk about tons of cozy mysteries, thrillers, other murder mysteries, anything with a mystery 
element you can find on my channel. So definitely hit subscribe. It means the world to me. Thank you guys again for over 2,000 subscribers. I can't even believe it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!